Hi everyone, I'm JT. You join me here at the very beautiful Haywards Farm Trout Fishery here at our Sportfish Branch in Reading. And we're all looking forward at this time of year, hopefully at spring being sprung and the start of the trout season on our local fisheries. Now here at Haywards, he's been closed throughout the winter and now we're all looking forward to opening day Hopefully we're going to get our rods bent and um, get our string pulled by a few of the overwinter fish that are here. So here's a few hints and tips to hopefully get you off on the right foot, start the trout season. So don't be worried about how cold the water is at the moment. Trout are a cold water species. This time of year they're at their best fighting weight and they're in their best condition and they're pretty hungry and ravenous to feed. So for those fish that have been in here throughout the winter, they're well acclimatized to the conditions and they're heavily feeding on the natural insects that are here in the water. Just because you don't see them, there's still plenty of olives in the water, plenty of damsels, and of course the biggest part of a trout dust diet in all our still waters, mainly being the buzzer. Those insects are in the water all year round, so don't be scared about fishing those flies early season. Um, just because you're not seeing them hatching off, they are still in there and the fish are going to be picking those up as they're swimming around. This is a perfect time to pick up those better, big, full-finned, hard-fighting overwinter fish, possibly the best fish you're going to see of the season until back end when they start feeding on the fry. So think about those natural flies if you want to pick out the better fish. For those people that are newer to the game, want to get their string pulled, then obviously we're looking towards some of our mini lures. Cat's Whiskers, one of the most favourite ones, the old black and green Viva. Um, and then an orange blob which seems to be a fly that makes our way into every single person's fly box. Very effective, especially on fresh stocked fish uh, and it's pretty much guaranteed to get your string pulled back. Um, yes, it's cold at this time of year, but today is quite a sunny day. All it's going to take is a couple of changes in degrees to get that water temperature just in the surface warming up a little bit and then we're going to get maybe potentially a hatch off of some of the natural insects that are in the water. So small buzzers emerging off. Um, if you see any fish breaking the surface, great time. Put on a small F fly, put on a small shuttlecock buzzer, then you can target these free rising fish on small natural insects. And again, really good way to pick out those slightly better overwinter fish that have got used to feeding on natural insects. You never know, it could be a big slab in amongst those. And that's the sort of thing we're looking for. So we're all looking forward to the start of the season. We're gonna work through the depths of the water. Really important part again, when you're using those mini lures, um, start off maybe counting down to five seconds um, and then make maybe ten casts in a fanned area throughout your peg. Maybe next set of ten casts drop down to ten seconds until you start picking up those fish. You can work out what level of the water those fish are feeding at and then when you've got that you can stick at that level. If you find you're not getting takes, start again, work your way through down because those fish have moved up and down in the water depending on the sunshine, the air temperature, what's going on in the day and where those insects are moving. So fingers crossed you're all going to have a great start to the season. I hope a couple of those tips are really going to help you out. If you're going through all your fishing tackle now and there's one or two things you're missing, whether that be leader, flies, a new fly line, then don't hesitate, log on to www.sportfish.co.uk or pop into any of our retail stores. And best of luck to you all for the start of the new season. Let's hope it's a good one. Tight lines.